Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Subrata Sarkar. I'm a mechanical engineer working in manufacturing industry more than 23 years. Today, I'm going to discuss with you, uh, you know, an important, a very serious social problem that is suicide. Why people do suicide? How we can prevent it actually? We'll discuss because this problem is there in all countries. You know, many people have some myths about the suicide actually. Some people say those who talk about killing themselves for suicide, they will never do the suicide. This is wrong actually. And many people say, you know, the suicide is among you know, the different class of the people, a different category of the people, they commit suicide. It is also not true actually. People from all level of the society committing suicide, you know. And some people think that when some people talk about suicide or something, this topic is discussing, so we should not continue this topic because this is a negative topic. We should divert this topic actually. That is also totally wrong concept actually. Need to understand what the person is talking about and what is their intention in his mind actually, what he's thinking, you know. You know, in present day, as on 2017 global data, one million people are dying each year globally uh, only through you know, for suicide actually and if we talk about the in general the percentage of the people they will find that uh, on an average two percent people are dying by suicide committing suicide you can see there is a uh, you know, graph projection or you can see the suicide global map here you can see the different countries as a different rate actually the rate of the people committing suicide like one uh, in one lakh people, how many people commit suicide on an average? For example, say in US, uh, 11 on an average, say Canada, 16, in India also 11. So, so that is, is, is the data is there and everywhere this uh, you know, suicide is committing to the people. And day by day, for a lot of reason actually, it is increasing actually. And if we talk about India, do you know in every hour, one student in India commits suicide? So, which is a very, very pathetic and unfortunate figure, actually. And this problem, as I said, it is not with India, actually. It is with all the countries, all developed countries, developing countries, each and every country. If we talk about the UK, in UK, in 2016, the total number of the people, you know, died due to committing, by committing suicide, rather you can say, around 5,700 people and... and <clears throat> And all the proportion is that 75% are male and 25% are female. That is some, there are some other reason or explanation of it actually. And you know, if we talk about the Bangladesh also, like in 2017, total number of the, you know, uh, people committed suicide around 470. Uh, so then day by day, if we uh, see the statistics of the uh, previous year, day by day, this you know, is increasing. If we talk about the Australia, there is also people are committing a lot of suicide. And you know, uh, as same as UK, there is a male uh, committing more suicide than the female. If we talk about India, in 2016, the total number of people committed suicide around 9,500. So day by day, this suicide is increasing. And if we uh, know this, uh, <coughs> analyze the data, the age, on the basis of the age, like which age range of people are doing more suicide actually, so you'll find that people around, you know, 15 to 30 years of age, they are committing more suicide. Like students come some uh, majorly under this and, uh, you know, the newly married couples are also uh, come under this actually. So they, these are the data actually which is very, very unfortunate and uh, unhealthy for this society. And one of the major area, most important area is us. students are committing suicide actually. But if we, many people think that, you know, students are committing suicide because they are not getting good marks. That is the main reason actually, but that is not the reality. The reality is that the statistics say that, you know, only 12% students are committing suicide because of not getting good marks or score or failing the examination. But there are some other reasons actually. And major reason if we talk about that 35% students are committing suicide because of their family problem. And out of which most of the cases, the problem with the parents, or uh, th this is majorly actually there. So 35% students or the young age or the teenager committing suicide not because of their own reason. There's 35% reason there is a problem in the family. And if you talk about their you know, education or curriculum or gra you know, grades, score marks, that's you know, contributing 12% only actually, the statistics say in India. 
And you know, we're doing a lot of hard work. People are getting chance in engineering, medical, and all these things. So we, we, some people think that, yes, life is over, so we have achieved something. Now the life will be going very smoothly. But that is not the end of the competition, actually. That is another stage of a competition, actually. Do you know, after getting chance, because there is a huge expectation from the parents, number one, actually, and number two is a lot of other uh, uh, people in the society, and the professors and the uh, teachers, they also have a lot of expectation on the students and they review that and when the students cannot achieve this for some reason, they uh, you know a few of them commit suicide. You know, the people who are uh, getting chance in even IIT, like you know, India's top uh, engineering colleges, after going there, even also students are uh, not doing suicide only because they are not uh, you know, doing good uh, marks in different semester and etc. So what is this actually? This is because major responsibility goes to the parents actually and the second responsibility goes to the teachers. So this is the things actually in our society we should address is actually. And, and we are always in our, you know, putting our uh, students in the competition on the race actually. And because they are not the horse to win actually, they are also human beings, they have also got you know, emotions and other things actually and they are not so matured enough. So as a parents we have a huge responsibility to understand and tackle the things and we should see the life you know, you know in all respects not just getting the marks in, you know, in, in school, colleges and degree, that's not the life actually. And to you know, acquire these people are killing themselves. So what is the use of all these things? And if we, you know, when we talk about the prevention of the suicides, we also need to have a basic understanding, like which are the methods, as per statistics say, that uh, people are, you know, choosing for committing suicide. It is said that around 30% people committing suicide in India by jumping from, you know, have a nice building, and 32% are committing suicide by hanging, and around 18% people are committing suicide by taking some, you know, overdose medicine, sleeping pills, uh, etc. actually. But why people commit suicide, if we talk, that there are three, four major reasons actually. Number one is something grossly wrong in their life, whether in their own personal life or, the, you know, their family life, something majorly, you know, wrong actually, and which uh, cannot be, you know, solved in a normal, in a social, uh, you, know, you know, social environment actually, this type of some major problem actually, people are not, you know, cannot handle actually what things to, needs to be done, even some cases problems are such that they cannot even, you know, fail to discuss with somebody actually. And number two is that, as I say, it's the extension of the number of point one, that is, inability to handle the troubles. Some people, you know, it, it, it depends on the, you know, uh, people's uh, emotional stability also that inability to handle the trouble many trouble comes in our life actually that is normal that is what is life actually but you know, many people you know cannot handle such troubles and they commit suicide and some cases you know the people take impulse decision those who are emotionally very unstable uh, they for some reason some reason is triggering and they take some impulse decision and commit suicide actually so all these things are actually the you no know, trigger for uh, committing a uh, suicide but if we uh, talk about some biological aspects of the suicide uh, clinically say the when the people is going to commit suicide maybe after a few hours or something due to many external reason an internal reason some you know chemical secretion happens inside their brain actually and which uh, trigger massively and to make big impulse them to commit uh, suicide this is the clinical investigation you know I'll, I'll find actually but there are you know a lot of warning sign actually suicide is not that the person thinks suicide yesterday and committing is today it's not like that a person has you know Facing the problem maybe for months or years, then the thing sometimes is triggered off and the person commits suicide. So what are the symptoms actually? There are many symptoms. If you were intelligent enough to identify in your you know, people surrounding you, people in your family, people in your society actually. So, so these are the things like, you know, some, uh, some cases, you know, some people will find that, uh, you know, suddenly people are feeling restless for whole uh, 24 hours. For uh, you will not find any reason why this. So it is not the work pressure. It's not the you know study pressure. Something wrongly happening. So you need to be cautious and discuss with the people actually. 
to find that some people got you know change the sleeping pattern that is one of the you know indication that person may commit suicide some some people you know suddenly withdraw you know themselves uh, or isolate make them some isolation actually from the surrounding people actually so that is not also a good sign actually you, you people need to talk with them actually and some people you know you find that suddenly they are talking about the suicide you know etc so that is also a bad indication we need to continue that topic actually and may try to understand what is falling actually that's very important and family history is one of the matter actually if somebody's family has got some you know this uh, uh, situation or this uh, accident so that may you know continue with the family member in long term also you know, this is very important. Parents need to be, you know, very intelligent to understand actually, like, you know, if some, what is, you know, you can see here the boy is sitting, but, you know, in, in their mind something is going on in his plan actually. So, parents need to be very, very intelligent to understand what their, you know, kids or the, you know, children are thinking of. They need to mix with them very much. That is very, very important, which is a missing today actually. You know, this, uh, both are busy, parents are busy for earning money and uh, you know, they, they, they don't find really you know, good uh, uh, time to you know, uh, uh, discuss, to time to share in the family. So that's one of the major uh, problem actually. So uh, like, uh, you know, we should connect to our, uh, with our kids very uh, compassionately, that's very important actually, empathetically, like what they're thinking, what is the problem. And that, that, there should be a you know, good bond between the you know uh, between parents and the children. Otherwise, the you know, children will not share things with the parents. How, however, you are trying actually. So that's very important, and that bond cannot you know create in one day. And actually, and, and most of the cases actually you know they made it, that bond is going because people are people has a different target actually. You know, both parents and students have a target how to get good marks, how to get good marks actually. But the getting marks is maybe 15% of the total life actually, like, you know, career part. But their life is much bigger than this actually, and people are not thinking, uh, you know, about it actually. So, so that, that's very important actually. And if you find that some symptoms, like I'm saying, if you find some symptoms among the people surrounding you in your family or something actually, so you, uh, most important point is you should make them feel that they are not alone, we are with them. Whatever they are, we will accept them. So make them understood this. That's very, very actually important. And nowadays you'll find it there are national you know, there's a helpline also. If you find that they, I have understood, I'm saying some you know, symptoms in that person, but I'm not handled how to control this. So there are you know, NGOs for them. There are you know, helpline for them we can uh, talk about. So that's very important actually to address these uh, social problems. So we find this presentation is important. I would say you can share this presentation as much as possible. And if you have not yet subscribed my YouTube channel, you can subscribe my YouTube channel by clicking on this bell icon so that you can get notification for my future presentation. Thank you so much for your attention.